This program contains subject matter and language that may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Eric is an addict. He's been an addict for years. I don't think he even knows what it's like to be normal anymore. I have no idea what you're talking about. It could be a lot worse as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> There's this elephant in the room. We all know it, and he just goes on as if nothing is happening. I want this to stop. I, I never want to see another syringe in my life. I mean, you gotta be stupid not to be able to see what he's doing. He's got a problem. That's what I'm saying, like, I'm allowed so to talk got a to problem. You. I just want to help him before it's too late. Did you want me to die? None of this is happening, that I don't see it. There, come on. No, Complete denial. That's what it is. Medicine. My name is Eric. I'm a normal enough guy. I've been injecting for a uh, for a long time, and. Uh, you know, sometimes life's hard, but you find a way to get through it. I've thought about this before. I've tried to think back the first time I saw him using. I want to say he was really young. Going on in 11 years now, you know, I'm still here, alive. You know, living every moment as I can, so. He was, he was a good kid. Yeah, he had so much life, and, and he was so vibrant and, and excited. He was always making movies with his friend Joe, and he was really good at it. We would make movies based off of video games. We would make movies like our own unofficial sequels to huge blockbusters that were out at the time already. And it was, it was terrible. <laughs> you gotta see it, it was terrible. He was the happiest I've ever seen him. I don't know, he was funny and he was talented and he always wanted to pursue it. But then this happened and um, I don't know, I guess everything, everything got sidetracked. But I, you know, I've never seen him do anything recently. I don't know what he's doing now. I guess he's acting all the time. He's lying to us. Does that count? Is that acting? Lying to your family? But you know, life has a way of, you know, tossing a curveball once in a while. It's not, you know, a bad thing. It's just as you get older, you find yourself not doing exactly what you wanted to do, or, you know, like the crushing reality of, you know, just life comes in at you one step at a time. I'm just watching him waste his life away. He won't admit to anything. That's where that acting comes in. I have no idea what you're talking about and it's starting to freak me out. I take it every day and it keeps me going. So, like, why wouldn't you take it, really? I, you, I need it, I take it. I feel better afterwards, so, you know, I just gotta do what you gotta do. That's how I look at it, at least anyway. Otherwise, I'd just be miserable the whole time. Thanks. You know, she's very sweet. I don't think that she's really, up until this point at least, helping the situation. I just want him to be happy, you know, and I, I don't know where this came from. I'm, I'm trying to support him. I'm trying to be a support system for him. I don't know. I guess I have sort of let it go on too long. He always meets his dealer here. He comes here like once every week or two and and I just sit here like an asshole and let him. Yeah, I get home and I call me crazy. I like to relax for a little bit. Yeah. Like what I know you, you like to relax. I'm just wondering how exactly it is that you're relaxing. What the hell does that mean? No, like, don't raise your voice to me. Right? I'm not, this is not me raising my voice, all right? Like, I got another couple of octaves to go if you want me to okay. raise my voice. He doesn't even try to hide it anymore. And 
he calls it his medicine, which is just sort of the sickest part about this. He thinks I don't know what he's doing in there. You know, when he goes to the bathroom, he says, I just have to take my medicine real quick. I know. I'm not an idiot. Uh, you know, he, he, he doesn't see it as a problem, really. Uh, and obviously it is. I mean, look at him. Take the medicine, I feel better. It's that simple, really. You know, I mean, like, I'm sick. What happens if you just, like, if you stop? Like, what? If I stop? Like, just stop. Like, forever? Yeah. I would die. Like, yeah, no, really, I would die. I know, but you can't, you can't think that way. You gotta understand, if I stop, I would eventually die. A horrible, slow death. It would be awful. I would throw up all the time. I mean, I was, yeah, you but would then I would up, die. I wouldn't get better. Definitely denial. He's in complete denial. Denial is his, his biggest problem. Oh God! And you call it that, and it's just so. That's what it is. I, I, can't, I can't. I can't. I can't do this. What can't you do? Eric needs to realize what he's doing to himself and to us. Do you You're want me to die? Like do you want thing. me to die? Just stop. Oh. Just. It, stop. He needs to decide that it's time to stop. Stop eating. How about that? How about stop eating? How he's making our family look? Because it's my medicine, you stupid. I mean, he needs to admit his problem. I want Eric to look me in the eye and say, "Yes, Danny, I have a problem." Now, as a drug counselor, I frequently encounter these addicts, like Eric who are in denial 100%. Don't give him an inch. Okay, what you're doing here is you're saving his life with tough love. Am I understood? What do we do if he leaves? He doesn't leave, Joe. We don't let him leave. Okay, because that's when he gets the ultimatum. There's nothing we're gonna do to help him continue his path. We're good? Hi, Eric. My name is Jessica. Hello. Hi, Eric. What's up? Everyone is here today because they love you. Me? Why don't you take a seat? Hey, guys. What's going on? Hi. Eric, mm. we're all here today to talk about your addiction. My what? Come on, babe. Please. What? Just hear us out. Don't start interrupting us. God damn it! It's about your drug addiction. What the hell are you talking about? It's time for you to hear the truth. And you're gonna hear it from the people who love you the most. Okay? You're a goddamn drug addict, bro. You're always injecting. You're always going to the doctor. I'm not addicted to anything. I'm sick. You are. Baby, you are sick. And we know that it is a sickness. No, you idiot. Like, I mean, I'm really sick. Okay, denial can sometimes lead to aggression. I am not in denial, bitch, all right? Oh. See what I'm saying? Eric, these people are all concerned for your life. I, I am not addicted to anything, okay? I'm a druggie, we know. No, I have a, a de drug dependency. No, you idiots. How long have you known me? I take insulin shots to help with my blood sugar so I do not die. Uh, Eric. The first step to recovery is admission. Jesus Christ. Christ. What is doing to you, man? You are throwing your life away. You're a janitor. Everyone has prepared some letters. They have things they'd like People for you to are whacked. Jordan, do you want to go first? <sighs> nope. No, nope. this. No, no, I'm out. No. Such a tragedy. We never knew this whole time. He was a diabetic. To think, a diabetic 
and a drug addict. He just couldn't beat it. Addiction is just an epidemic in this country. It tears families and friends apart. It took my best friend from me. You know, life is short, and it's just disgusting to become a slave to something that you have no control over. I'll never let myself be taken in by the beast that killed him. 